Hello there everyone, Linda here. It's time for Rolodex card 150 and first I want to show you this really cute card that I got in the mail. It's a little banner to hang in my room that my friend Ike made. Ike lives in Greece. Isn't this adorable? <laughs> so cute. It's supposed to be Sophie and Lucy helping me in my scrap room and my blog is called Scrap Cat Cards by Linda so isn't that cute? Help you create. Thank you Ike that was really really sweet of you and she sent me this beautiful card. Isn't that pretty? The butterfly and the um I gotta show you real quick. I'm just gonna show you quick but look at her beautiful handwriting. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Ike does digital images on her um blog and let's see oh and she said that she got the images are crafty cats images so that's where she got the images from aren't they cute all right let's get busy on this card um i got some new embossing folders and i don't think you're going to be able to see them but they're these little ones and they were from joann's they were very inexpensive these are um, bees and a honeycomb and be happy. And then I also got this cute little die. So I want to do a bumblebee card. The other day I was cutting out um, Rolodex cards with watercolor paper. And I was having a little trouble because it's really thick. But I tore off a couple little pieces that I didn't want to throw away. And I was just watercoloring. I was just trying out, um, I took my watercolor pencils from Stamping Up and the water brush. I was using these and I was just brushing it against the end of the color. I was just going like this and coloring like this. You can't even see. Like this and that's how I painted that. that that's, I was trying that because I thought this would be a great thing to take along with me that doesn't take a lot of room, one, and if I get to go on a vacation. <laughs> All right, so I want to use that. And for the first thing I'm going to do on this card is spray it yellow because I want the background yellow. And then I want to take a black um, pad and go over the, the top part anyway. So I'm going to use my lemon zest from Delusions because I really like this one. Okay, so I gotta let that dry. Okay, so I got it all nice and dry. And then I want to take and make this black, but I don't, I, I just want the raised area black. So I was thinking if I go like this with this pad, well, I'm hoping this works. Kind of works. I was hoping I would just get that black, and and I could have done that with. Um, I could have inked the embossing folders to get just the part I wanted black, black. But that's all right. Some days, that's the way it goes. <laughs> but I do want the bees a little blacker, so I'm just gonna take a pen here or a brush here. And all right, and this is going to go down here, and this is like a honeycomb, so I want to try, let's try a vintage photo on that one. Then I, this is a little piece that I tore off the top of this because I thought this had too much. <laughs> so I want to put that, maybe I should put that up there. Nope, I want to put it there. There and there. And then I have my adorable little bee die that I have. So I have these cute little bees to put on here. Maybe I'll put those right over top of these. That's a good idea. I might do that. Alright, so I'm going to put this on here. Um, Mary's nurse or aide came and she was at the front door and she said, oh, there's a bee. 
and she's very allergic to bees. So, so for the sentiment, I want to put "Be Happy." I'm just gonna think of what letters I want to use for that. Okay, so in my sticker drawer, I found this um, set of stickers, and here's one that says "Be Happy," and it's like on vellum, so that's pretty cool. Like that. All right. I'm liking the card today. And it's okay that it did that. Now I didn't leave my soft place to write Rolodex card 150. I'll put it this way. May 30th. Holy cow. One more day. All right. There you go. There you go, Rolodex card 150. Be happy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye bye. I remember the days of just keeping time.